In this video, we're going to work on actually firing off an event that we need to create. Well, better yet, creating and firing off that event for our first person character. And that's going to translate to setting the interactable text right here, press E to interact, to our HUD. Now, for by default, I'm going to go back to the, the designer. And where we have press E to interact, I'm going to change that text to nothing. And compile and save, so that way it's non-existent. And I only want it to be exist like appear when we walk up to this and it says whatever text we pass into it and then nothing whenever we look away. So we're going to go ahead and set that up and we're just going to create the event and link up that event so that way we can easily call it whenever needed for now. So inside of our beginner tutorial character, what I want to do is I want to go to our header file, scroll somewhere near the top. And let's go down a little bit, and here's our custom stuff that we've added. Let's go ahead and create that event. That event's going to be a U function. It's going to be blueprint implementable event. And I want to give it a category of, I'm just going to give mine category of HUD. Oh, up to interactable HUD. And then we need to create the function. So what it's going to do, it's going to be a void, no return or anything, it's just going to be an event. And let's do, let's see, what would be a good name? On interaction, that's better yet, on held actor in sight. That'll be okay. And then that's all. We just have to make it take in the type that we want it to be. So we want it to take in a text. So we're going to do F text, text, and that's it. We don't need to create any sort of implementation or anything like that. We would just simply call it like we would a normal function, and that would trigger the event in Blueprint to fire off. So I'm going to go ahead and close down Unreal Engine, mostly because I can't compile. And once we get that situated, we're, all right, what now? Let's see. And I'll be found. Ah, uh, yes. So this has to be a reference to an F text. So we're going to do a const F text, and it's going to be a reference. Now let's go ahead and compile again and make sure we're okay. Which we are. Now, real quickly, I never covered what constants were, but constants are pretty much if you pass a variable like this. So let's say we call on held actor in sight and we pass it in, you know, just some text. Well, if we have the parameters const in this function here, we cannot modify text. It will not allow us to because it is a constant. So a constant means we don't want it to be changed. We want it to stay the same and not have the ability to be altered. So we're going to go ahead and go back and do Unreal Engine, load up the previous assets, and we want to go to our character. Now we have that event here on held actor in sight. So we're going to right click and search for it. So on held actor in sight. <clears throat> Just like so. Now I'm going to drag out my HUD, do a get. First thing I want to do is check if it's valid. So we can just search for valid. So this will prevent us from trying to access a null pointer or a space in memory that doesn't exist, preventing a crash, although blueprint. If I recall right, it handles, it doesn't actually crash for you, it just tells you. Then off a of HUD, we want to search for that function that we made, which was set, I don't remember what it was called, set interaction text. So set interaction text, and plug text into text, and is valid into the execution node. So that way, if HUD is valid, let's call set interaction text based off of this pin right here. Then we compile and save, and we can actually give this a quick uh, test. So currently, there is no text displayed. Let's go over here to our .cpp, scroll to begin play, and we're gonna do it in begin play. So it was on held actor in sight. Let's pass in a text, so f text. And let's get, what would be a good name? Um, let's just do testing text, like so. 
Right, so we're getting a issue here. Well, perhaps it's asking us to create a variable, but we should actually be able to construct a text just like so. Apparently not. Right, maybe it's just using the text macro then. Also not. So I'm going to create variable f text. Text equals testing text. Okay, I feel like I'm missing something. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and pass text in. And I'm going to figure out why this is real quick. I haven't used this in a while. All right, I'm just going about this the wrong way. So all we're going to do is actually just pass in the text. And it's going to, well, we're going to pass, create a string, and just simply convert that to f text. So the way we can do that is let's go ahead and do f text, colon, colon, from string. And here we can pass in kind of whatever we want. So what it's doing, it's converting a f string to an f text. So now we can just pass in testing interaction. And then we're going to go ahead and run our hot reload. So make sure to save it. Go back to Unreal Engine, Control Alt 11. Now when we hit play, as you can see, it prints out testing interaction. <clears throat> so now I'm going to go ahead and remove our crosshair because that's getting kind of annoying. And that's going to be it for this video. So we have the, the event created and set up and working. And in the next video, we have to work on actually setting it up. So we're going to be working on our tick function. And since we're not using a tick for anything special, we're going to limit the tick interval so it's not running super crazy fast well, on every frame. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and link up that with the interactable classes text. So I'm going to go ahead and go over here to our game mode.cpp. And here it's, as you can see, creating our HUD class. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete this because I do not want it at all. And we can control Alt F11. And now our little crosshair there is gone. So we don't have any need for that. And we can create that whenever we want with a widget. So, the only thing I'm going to do now before we actually end the video is I want to go ahead and create our onTick function real quick. So in beginner tutorial character.h, let's scroll down to the bottom. And if we search for tick, we have virtual void tick takes in a float. And let's go ahead and create the implementation. Now we have to go ahead and call super. So we're going to do super tick and we're going to pass in delta seconds. And I'll explain what super is in one of the future videos. And I'm going to go ahead and go all the way down to the bottom. And I just always put the tick down here. Next up, we have to go up to our constructor and make sure we enable it. So we're going to do primary actor tick dot let's see it should be somewhere in here b can ever tick equals true and i'm going to go ahead and make sure that it actually is running so i'm going to print out a simple log and let's do on tick and restart my editor and then we should be good to go Okay, the build was successful. Let's go ahead and launch up Unreal Engine. And hopefully we should have a one heck of a chat spam. Let's get our output log, press play. And as you can see, OnTick is now spamming once every frame. So we are good to go. We can remove our log. And just go ahead and save it. I'm going to go into a quick reload, or a live coding recompile. And that's going to be it. So in the next video, like I said, we're going to go ahead and work on actually getting the message from the interactable whenever we look at it to display on our screen. And then whenever we look away, we want it to not display anything. So it's only going to be when we're looking at an actor that we can interact with. So what we're going to do for that is we're going to actually create an interactable interface. And that interface is going to be kind of dedicated to this looking at uh, kind of interaction deal. And then from there, we also have our pickup interface and so on. So that's what we're going to be focusing on. And yeah, from there, I will see you in the next video.
If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description. If you have any questions or anything like that, you can also find my Discord server down there, and I'll help you out the best I can. So, I will see you in the next video.